Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I'm Cam Chak Fisco. Come join me for an indie adventure. Alright, so I need to check the urn, right? It's some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Okay, so there's nothing there. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Alright, I don't think there's anything we can do up here. This was just allowing us to get back up. Although I'll try opening it. That doesn't seem to work. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Uh, can I... Oh, I'd have to pick up. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? So we've got a strange key. It's dusty. Uh, which is used for something, I just don't remember which. I don't think that'll work. Uh, where was the other chest? I don't think... Where was another chest? I'm trying to think of where else there would be one. So obviously we could unscrew it from the top, but we're not going to. Uh, I don't remember what the key's for, honestly. It's been so long since I've done that solution. Usually I just do the unscrew it and you're done. Uh, the whole reason you get the gum is because you use the gum on your shoes to walk up the coal chute. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! So we can look at I the remaining it's part fingers. of the old ward collection. Another yeah. cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. So that one looks odd. All right, Witchy, thank you for the lurk. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. So we'll pick up the it's odd of looking wax. one. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Okay, so they're all going to say the same thing. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. It's a book ready to fall. So that can be the look we're looking for. It might not be. So on the off chance that it is, I'm actually going to go down and we're going to melt this. Because they said it was very odd. odd. But unlike it's the others, wax. it's made of wax. It's hot. So we can open this. Um, use this the with the furnace. The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Was hidden inside a wax cat. Which means... I, I think it's whichever it's one you actually accomplish up. first. Uh, I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. So I'm pretty sure if we knocked the book down, the book would have been the Lost Dialogue of Plato. But that's exactly what the coal was for, because you used the coal to knock the book down. Um, the only thing I don't know is what the key was Oops, for. The lump of coal broke into a billion useless pieces. Oh, because we already have the book. I don't think we can. So now it just breaks instead. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Pick up the coal. Yeah, we can't interact with the coal at all anymore. Because we already got the book. So we could have used that to knock the book down, and then he would have realized, oh, it's the Lost Dialogue of Plato. So it's just different options. I, I honestly don't know what the key is for. The only other thing that was the chest was the one all the way upstairs, but we tried using the key on it and it didn't work, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that solution to find the book would have been. Because you could either find it in the collection, you could find it in the cat. Um, the collection, you either have to throw the, the coal at it, or um, we could actually finish unscrewing it now, I think. Or you could finish unscrewing it, and it allows you to just lift it and the book stay down. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. And then you just picked up, a, picked up the, the bookshelf. I can't pick that up. Uh, open. There's nothing of importance here. And you would have found the book that's hanging that way. So those are two ways to have gotten the book if it's there. Um, so like I said, the only one I don't know of is this. Because you can obviously get it in the wax cat. So I'm guessing somewhere upstairs is... A, a chest or something. Braided Whoops. Hemp. No, just just use the rope. Thank you. Uh, I'm guessing there's got to be a chest or something somewhere that the key would have worked on, and then the book could have been in there instead. 
I don't think there's any... Well, let me look at the statue now that I'm not going to fall. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Hmm. We've already done everything we can do in the museum. Well, I don't understand how Marcus got lost in that museum. It's certainly a dangerous museum, at least for Indy. All right, so let's go to the office door. Uh, maybe the key to something in his office. I have no idea. I genuinely don't know. I don't think I ever figured out what the key was for. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhart is quite the scholar. Let me see. The Hermocrates. Now at last, I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought it was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to the long-lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's for certain. Or that's certain. Uh, there's a fear of the fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy to Ward. Charles Sternhardt, London in 1922. You use the uh, clips to jump to each section. Hermocrates. In shame, I hereby do recant the time and place whereas Critias spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles, or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shore. Likewise, it may have been that the Lost Kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago, or as few as 1,000. Socrates, if the kingdom arose on the earth anywhere near where anywhere where men might have traveled, then we would have never heard of it. We ought to accept the lesser figure. So it's probably 300 miles, but it also could be either one of these, because the, the tenfold error is going to be important, so everybody remember that. So glorious, Atlantis founded two colonies, the lesser 360 miles northwest of the city, and the greater 450 miles away southeast. The gates of the kingdom opened only with the aid of special stones. We saw one of those stones when Sternhardt left with it. At many outposts, a sunstone sufficed, if darkness concealed the tall horns. At the greater colony, a moonstone was also needed, with darkest night healed by the full moon. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well, with the glorious sun blazing up alone upon the western sea. So this is telling you how to line them up as well. The final entrance yields only to contrary minds. And it is said the dwellers in Atlantis had no horses, nor any need for them. Or a calcum, the metal that glittered like fire, as they had this they had instead. Where's my Illuminati sound effect? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as they, as we do minted coins, paying statues to do their work as if by magic. When their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for metal. For the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. Socrates, you have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. As the waters rose around their city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, sought to hold off fate. Knowing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which, by use of Orichalcum, ten beads at a time, would make themselves like the gods themselves. Nirab Sal was such was one such king. He was he it was. Why does that feel wrong to say that? He it was, say the wise men of Egypt who first put men into the Colossus, making many freaks of nature at times when celestial spheres were well aligned. So they tried it out, and we know the tenfold error may well apply to this, because remember, the tenfold error applies to the numbers he's given us. So because of that, it's been translated this 360 miles, not 3,600 miles. 40, 450 instead of 4,500. But that may, that may be, these, this is the translation, so that actually might be off, and it might be 36 or 45, as opposed to. And then this being 10 beads at a time, could be 1,000, could be 1. Uh, this I doubt, we are hearing a child's tale, so Socrates didn't even believe it. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? 
Plato's errors means the distance could also be wrong. Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece yep. instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Don't push this too far, Sophia. This orc alchem sure is spooky stuff. Uh, are you feeling okay? We're gonna go with this one. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Why should he help us? Yeah. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Why should he help us? Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. All right, I'm ready to go. Uh, how will we find... Okay, I, yeah, I think we can only like, choose one of these. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? I'll go, but you're staying here. Maybe we ought to call the whole thing off, so obviously. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. <clears throat> now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. Because we talked our way in as if she were important to the group. So we can either choose to go as a team with her or think our way through because I'm not choosing the action one. That's a pain in the ass. So we can either do the intellectual path or the teammate path. You still have to solve puzzles. That doesn't change. It's just a matter of whether it's going to be you alone or you with her is basically the choice. So do we want to bring her along or do we want to try to figure this out ourselves? And if you've seen the indie movies, you know it goes both ways. So... It's kind of cool that you can choose all uh, any of the three paths, and all three are elements that tie into Indiana and his styles, <laughs> as it were. We only got the one vote so far. We're going to go ahead and go with uh, teammates. All right, I'm convinced. You can come along. Then let's go, partner. <laughs> Don't be getting funny ideas. I'll be running the show. Let's get going. We still catch tonight's clipper. Stay out of my way and you'll get hurt. Let's be nice about it. Let's Jeez. get going. We can still catch tonight's clipper. You make it sound so romantic. <laughs> about the archaeology, lady. <laughs> Alright, so once again, doesn't matter which one we go to first, because we're only going to be able to get so much done before we have to go to the other one anyway. So, let's go ahead and go to Monte Carlo first. I love how they actually put so much effort, like having the map transition when they travel. Well, here we are. I had no idea Monte Carlo was a lost city. What does Trottier look like? What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? Suppose he shows up. What then? Well, what does Trottier look like? How shall I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Great. That's that's helpful. Thank 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 you, Sophia. Thank thank you. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Trottier. Smart ass. Right? What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. All right. So she's gonna have. Uh... I have to agree with the new with this statement. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry. It'll work. 
He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. So we're going to con him. If Mr. Sal helps out, of course. <laughs> I'll go get ready. We're trying to be nice about Nerap Sal, but the reason being is because Indy's seen his Excuse share me. of shit. So, I mean, come on, he should be believing in the supernatural. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps, who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. But let's be humble. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Well, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Normally, I spend my nights at home, but the book of changes indicated, who oh, well, simply put, a change. And here, I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. So he believes in horoscopes. Seance might be the perfect option. What can you tell me about Atlantis? Oh, that depends. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure you are a true believer, answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? In the last days of Atlantis. Actually, it was when the uh, spheres were as well when aligned. the celestial spheres were well aligned. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Well, How I did just I read the thing. You? See, uh, let's see, would like to trade her wisdom for yours, follow me, and she can read your fortune. Come on upstairs, this woman shows dynamite. Um, okay, so, the other choices we could have asked and we don't have access to anymore, so... Doesn't matter, we're coming to this. Uh, here we go. Uh, actually, let's specifically say, read your fortune, because we know he's into astrology. Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step, I'm not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. You need help, pal. She's better than any psychiatrist. Well, that's how you feel forget it. Well, obviously, we gotta take the first one. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. Well, I need money. Perhaps Madame can tell me which phase of the moon is best for gambling. So, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Oh, yeah. He's definitely into all this stuff. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Okay, try to use all yours. Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. Are you sure this is going to work? Okay, so even though we're doing the team approach, there still are options of what we can do. So one of the options is we can literally keep her distracting him while he tries to steal it from his wallet. Well, they would be in his coat. Um, we can let her do her plan because she already has some scheme it's set up. And then we have to play as her and make all the right choices to make sure her plan works. Then if that fails, suddenly we switch to Indy and Indy has to do the backup plan. All right, are you sure this is gonna work? Are you sure this is gonna work? Just you watch. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. Yep, now we play as her instead of as Indy. Because now that we're team, we're going to be swapping with her on a regular basis, depending on what we need to do to solve the puzzle. All right, so uh, we, can, it, we can demand proof of sincere belief, which could work, or a token of power to focus thoughts. Honestly, considering the way he is, it makes more sense to make him think he's willingly participating. A token of power will help focus my thoughts. I wonder, if your concentration is so weak, perhaps I've picked the wrong psychic. Nope. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I was supposed to demand. I'm afraid Nurab Sal is temperamental tonight. Uh, too bad. Another time, perhaps. God damn it. Au revoir. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. 
You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, come to the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fairly well, everyone.